Hello guys, welcome back to another episode of Android application development tutorial. In today's episode, we are going to learn about how to play a music file from your application. You can play a media file in your application in three ways. First one is the file is located in local resource. That means play from local resource. Local resource means the media file located within the application itself. And the second method is you can play a music file from the SD card. And the third method is you can play the music file from an external URL. So here I am going to show you how to play a music file from the application itself. So start a new project in Android Studio. So here I am going to show you how to play the music from within from the application itself. So first you have to add the needed music files into the application. So in an Android application you have to place all the media files within the raw folder. So you have to create a new folder or directory inside the resource folder. So right click the resource folder and create a new directory. I name the file as raw click OK. Now we got a new folder inside the resource folder. Now you have to add the needed media files into the raw folder. So here I have a sample music music file. This is a mb3 format sound. I copy that file and paste that file inside the raw folder. Click OK. Yeah, now we got that particular media file inside the raw folder. Okay. Now for playing music, here I am going to add a button to the activity main.xml file. Now we have to make some changes on the button. I change the text of the button as play music. Okay. Yeah, this in, that's enough. Now go to main activity.java file. Now we have to create needed objects. First, need a, we need an object of button. I name it as bn. Now you can play the media files in Android using the media player API. You can use the media player class within the API. So we need an object of media player class. So create an object of media player class. Media player. Okay. Now we have to create action listeners for the. We have to initialize the button object bn equal to find the view by id r dot id dot button. cast this into button okay now we have to create listeners for the button so bn dot set on click listener so whenever user click the button we have to start playing music so we have to first we have to initialize the media player object so here I am going to initialize the media player object media player equal to media player use the method called create for this method you have to pass two arguments first one is a context object second one is the resource resource means the file so here I pass get application context as context object now you have to specify the file location. Here the file is located within the raw folder. So r dot raw dot our file name is my song. Okay. So now we have to start start playing the music. So you have to call the method media player dot start. So when you call the start method, the media player will start playing the music. Okay. So after playing the music, we have to show a message to the user using a toast. Playback started. Toast don't make it as long. 
Now make the toss visible using show method. Okay. So after finishing playing, after finishing the playback, you have to release all the resource used by the media player. The media player use a huge amount of system resources. So after completing the media playback, you have to release all the resources used by the media player. Otherwise, it will affect the performance of your application. So you have to use a method called media player dot use this listener set on completion listener on completion listener in this method you can on completion in this method you have to release all the resource used by the media player so here I am going to release that media player media player call the method called release this method will, will release all the resource used by the media player also I set the object into null so whenever user again play the music the media player the system will again assign all the resources needed for the media player okay so after starting the music we have to disable the button so button sorry bn dot set enabled false so after finishing music after finishing playback we have to again make the button enabled set enabled true also we have to show a message after complete completing the playback playback finished okay now we can test the application here I am going to test this application on my Android device so I start the application okay now the application is available on my device now I am going to play the music the media file not contain a song it is just an mp3 created by me for demonstrating this application so anyway I am going to play the music I click the button Hello, welcome to this demo MP3. now and here this so audio this is video. played from the application this demo MP3 is created by me for testing this Android application now this MP3 is played from your Android application also you can see that can now the button is not enabled I just disabled the button as well as the media player class please subscribe to this channel now by clicking the subscribe link provided on this video for getting more Android tutorial updates on your YouTube homepage as well as on your email again thank you for listening to this demo mp3 now this is the end of the mp3 okay now you can see that after finishing the playback I again enable the button okay I hope you enjoyed this video thank you for watching see you in the next part